You will often see these really cool flies on social media. Here in the UK we call them buzzers, in other parts of the world they're known as chrominoids. In this video then, I want to show you how I finish my buzzers and introduce you to a little gadget that's made my life so much easier. And I hope it'll make your life a lot easier as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, there is a purpose to having heavily varnished flies like this and not just to look sexy for social media. That reason, folks, is their ability to sink through the water column very quickly. This is not always what we are after in this kind of fly pattern, but early season, getting your flies to the fish's depth quickly is essential, even more so if you are fishing from a drifting boat. Well, I suppose to show you how I finish my buzzers, I better break out the vise and get a fly ready to be varnished. First thing then, once I've finished the actual tying, which I've already done, I like to give them a coat of super glue. Now what I do is I put this to the side and leave it time to dry but for the purpose of this video this is one I did earlier and it's already dry. Next then it's time for the resin and that's where my new gadget really comes into its own. I will post a link in the description below to this item. It's an Amazon affiliate link which simply means you will pay exactly the same as you would if you were to search Amazon but if you use the link I provided I will receive a small commission from Amazon for your purchase. What is it I hear you ask? Well let me tell you first why I wanted it. I tie a lot with UV resins and I very often finish the heads of my flies with resin rather than super glue or varnish. Now the problem I've had with most of the UV torches I've used in the past are numerous as I have tried most things. Rechargeable, forgot to recharge the battery. USB, forgot to plug it in or worse, can't find the lead. Battery, bought the wrong size or run out. Yes, I know, first world problems, but problems nonetheless. The answer of course is simple. A UV light that works direct from the mains at a price that's cheaper than most torches. For $16.99 this will never run out of batteries and you won't have to remember to put your batteries on charge. It comes with a USB cord that plugs directly into the socket or plug adapter, just like your phone. It has a clip that you can attach to your desk or vice, whatever suits you and you get instant UV light. Guys, the channel's been going for over four years now and it is growing slowly. YouTube analytics tell me that 66.6% .6 of folk that watch the channel are yet to subscribe. Subscribing really does help the channel grow. It signals to YouTube that you're enjoying the content I'm making and it pushes it out to a wider audience, getting even more people involved in fly tying and fly fishing. Subscribing is absolutely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. So before you go today, please give that subscribe button a little tickle. I would really appreciate your support. Now, Back to the video. Well, after the super glue's all nice and dry, I like to use Solaris Bone Dry. Now, I I've used this for years actually, and I've found out of all the resins I've tried, this one cures the hardest, and it actually is non-tack. Whereas a lot of the other ones, they claim to be, but they're not. You put your finger over them, you get a big greasy, slimy mark on your buzzer, and that's not what we're trying to achieve here. We want the perfect, nice, shiny buzzer. Of course, one of the other things I love about the Solaris is the little brush it comes with. It's just really good for being very precise with your your UV resin. You can, of course, just, uh, you know, other people use cocktail sticks, uh, bodkin needles. I do have a specific bodkin needle that I keep to the side just in case I've got to move uh, any of the UV resin around and I clean it up with a wire brush and a bit of uh, flame from a lighter when required. So making anything decent does take a little bit of time. I think the effort's worthwhile and this might not be any quicker than what you're currently doing. It may well be much quicker, but I just like it. So what I do is I'm using the UV resin to build my body. And I've got my little gadget here, 
which is uh, allowing me to dry the fly while I'm doing other things, getting other bits and bobs ready. It might even be that I'm going to just add another coat of Solaris, which I am on this particular occasion. Because what I want to do is give you the best profile with the buzzer. So we'll just switch the UV light off now, I'll just check the bottom's done actually. And all the time I've been wittering on, the UV light's been curing. And let's just run my finger over the top. And as you can see, it's um, it's still nice and shiny. So I'm not finished with the shaping of this fly. I want it to be a little bit thicker on the top. So this time when I come in with my UV resin, what I want to do is concentrate on this top end where the buzzer itself sorry, the thorax area of the buzzer is meeting the body. So I'm going to get quite a bit more UV resin onto that area. And I'm going to concentrate my efforts up the top here to try and help build that shape. Now there's various other ways of uh, doing this obviously and uh, one of the best buzzer patterns out there is from a chap called Al Owen who I think uh, if you speak to any of the competition guys they'll tell you Al ties the best buzzers that you can buy anywhere. Now I know he's a very busy chap, he spends all his winter uh, whittling up buzzers and uh, getting a slot to get some of these might be quite difficult but if you, if you want to try his name's Al Owen, you can find him on Facebook and you might be lucky enough to get them to tie you a few of the best buzzers out there. So, uh, I've just cured the head, and I'm fairly happy that that shape is what I want. I could just leave it there. I'm confident the UV resin will protect the fly, and it will work a treat for catching fish. But there is a couple of other things I like to do. So, I used two different varnishes. I used to use Sally Hansen, but I stopped using it. And the reason I stopped using Sally Hansen is because if you don't use it a lot, it does congeal and thicken up very quickly. So, I've started to use the uh, Uphaven varnishes. So, the two I use are the, the Brush On Hard, which is one of my favourites. And on occasion, I do like to use a UV reflective um, varnish, but for the purposes of this fly, we're going to just use the plain varnish. Now, this comes with a not so thin brush. And what I've done, and what I do with all these sort of things that I buy, is I get some nail polish remover, clean the brush up, and then I trim it to a nice point like this. And what I want to do is just finish my fly with a very thin layer of varnish. If you're happy enough and you tie a lot of flies using Sally Hansen, then uh, that's something I did for years and it worked fine enough. It's just I found I was buying more nail polish than I knew what to do with. Got a couple of teenage daughters now, so uh, <laughs> maybe I'll start um, stealing theirs again. And there we go. Now that obviously has to go off to the side to dry. Uh, it does take a while. Uh, you can, it'll be touch dry in about 20 minutes, but you don't want to touch it. Leave it for a good couple of hours, and that'll be a solid buzzer pattern that'll hopefully see you through many a fish. Just to summarise then, this is not the only way of getting this effect on your buzzers. There's lots of other different ways that work just as well. I've just shown you the way that I do it. If you have a better way of finishing off your buzzers, or a preferred way, please let me know what that is in the comments section below. I would be very interested to know how you do it. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you all next time.